Hey, this is Will from Lifter LMS. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can use Lifter LMS groups in order to sell your course into other organizations, such as schools or other companies that want to use your courses or memberships to train in their employees or students or whatever they want to do. You can allow other people to have a group leader position on your website where they can invite other people to join their group, access their courses, and group leaders can access reporting. So let's dive into it. The two plugins we're going to want to make sure we have installed are the Lifter LMS Core plugin and the Lifter LMS Helper plugin. The Lifter Core plugin, of course, gives you courses and memberships, and the Helper allows you to install your license key under Lifter LMS add ons and more, and then add on any add ons you have access to. So the Groups add on, now that I'm all set up, let's go ahead and install that. So Groups is the first one here. I'm just going to click Install, Apply. And this is installing the plugin in the background for me. So now I'm going to say activate apply. So that just installed and activated the groups plugin for me. So if we go back to plugins, we can see it right there. Lifter LMS groups is good to go. So now under Lifter LMS settings, I can also see one note is that groups is now here as an additional option on the sidebar. But let's dive into the settings. So Lifter LMS settings, integrations, groups. I can see here some general settings for groups like visibility. There are some interesting things you can do with social learning uh, where you could have um, like open groups where people can see other companies on your website and things like that. Uh, I'm just going to leave mine as closed for now. This is more of like a private thing. Other groups don't need to see other groups. It's just um, kind of like a private invite only type thing I guess where I would be managing a specific relationship with a specific company but they're not really aware of each other or anything. Just um, kind of like a business to business thing. And I can set default group profile images. If I go down to groups here in a new tab, you'll see what this is referring to. And if I do add new group, we can see there's this default banner image and default logo. And of course, each group can change out their uh, logo and banner. But these are just the defaults if you wanted to set those. And then we can change the name group to anything we want to or group leader, we can change to maybe manager or HR representative or whatever you wanted to change it to. I'm going to change mine to companies. Uh, in this example, I'll just be selling into companies. And then we'll call these people managers. And then if I save changes at the top, we can see on the side groups now is called companies. So that makes it a little bit uh, easier to get that language right for whatever use case you're using. And now if I go under groups here, let me go back to companies and then add new. So now I have this uh, new company here. And at the moment, admins are the only ones who can create groups or companies in my example. Uh, but upcoming with groups phase two, uh, that's not sure exactly when that'll be coming out, but that will allow for e-commerce capabilities where people could show up on your website buy a group access and say, I want 10 seats, and then you charge them for 10 seats, and their group is automatically created. But at the moment, what would have to happen is an admin would manually have to create their group. So if you were negotiating with a business, maybe 10 seats for $100 a seat, maybe you would go into memberships here, add a membership, and maybe just call it your billing membership. And the purpose of this membership would purely be to send out invoices pretty much. So if you were talking back and forth with a specific company and you decided uh, for Joe's construction company that's going to be $1,000 for 10 seats. Uh, you talked with them and then you'll just save changes here and then you could send them your purchase link and they would just use that to pay the invoice and then once you saw that their payment went through there you would go to companies, add new company, and then create their company for them with 10 seats. And of course, as an admin, you take up one of the seats. So we would want to go 11 right here. And so we give their company a title. I'll call it Joe's Construction Company. I'll give them a slug for their, that's just going to be the URL, what appears up there. I'm just going to call it Joe's Construction Company. And then Group Visibility. Of course, we're going with Closed for this website. And then I would want to add a course. Now, I don't think I have any courses created yet. Let me create one real quick. 
we'll call it the construction training course. So now that I have a course created, I can add that here, the construction training course, and save. Oh, Joe's Construction Company is not available. Let me just do Joe's Construction Company 1. This log is not very important. It's just what appears up here in the URL. Perfect. So now I have 10 extra seats in this course, Joe's Construction Company. And one really cool thing we can do to add a lot of personalization is upload a logo. So if I were to upload a logo for their company and then maybe a banner image here with just some general background images, it really just kind of goes a long way with adding some of that personalization to this um, group here for that specific business. And let me actually add 12 seats because what we're going to do now is invite somebody to join the group. If I go to members and manage, Currently, I'm the only member, but what I can do is add a manager. Remember, I changed group leader to manager. So this is really a group leader. The group leader can edit company settings, invite new members, and view company reports. So if I were to send that to willlifterelements.com, I could send off an invitation, and then that person could join and be the manager of this group. Another thing I can do is click enable link and that's going to be an invite link that I can send out. It'll be the same link that they get via email, but maybe I didn't want to send out a bunch of email invites. Maybe I have a different way. I just want to copy and paste my link, send it via Slack, a mass email, however you wanted to send that out. You could also use an invite link as an alternative way to invite members to join the group. Another thing we can do is go to reports and that's where I can see a report of everybody in my group, all the members. Currently it's only me as an admin on the website, but I can invite more members and I can see their name, enrollment date, progress and grade on the course. You know, if there's quizzes and assignments and things like that. And if I click into their name specifically, I can see a more detailed report on that user, such as their last activity and when they completed individual lessons and what grade they got on individual quizzes. So there's some cool reporting that goes along with groups where group leaders don't have to go into the back of WordPress to view the data for their students. So that is pretty cool. Otherwise, there's just a members listing here that shows which members are managers and then all the members, just a little bit of a group breakdown there. But that's about it for Lifter LMS groups phase one here. You can create groups, assign a certain number of seats to that group, send an invite to a group manager to be able to join and send out invites for their members to join and they can see reports on how they're doing throughout the courses. It's a great way to train in other companies using your resources if they want to buy licenses to your course, or it's a great way to sell into other organizations. Now with groups phase two, we don't have a specific ETA on that at the moment, but that will allow for an automated process for creating groups where somebody can just show up on your website, buy 10 seats, automatically have a group with 10 seats, and be good to go. But at the moment, that process is manual for sending out that invoice, creating the group, uh, but once that's all done, just invite the group leader. They can join and send out invites for their members. Feel free to let us know if you have any questions about Lifter LMS or Lifter LMS groups in the comments below this video. I'm Will Middleton from Lifter LMS, and I'll see you in the next video.